let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Grand rising to the WTC family. For this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I need everybody to please share this video. I need everybody to give your boy a thumbs up. Please stay tuned to the very end of this video because what I'm about to really break down to you is going to really change your direction in life. And I would love to start off with a prayer because we already know that prayer changes things. Father God, we thank you. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise this morning. I pray, Father God, that this word will be a blessing to somebody out there will be a blessing to the chosen ones, Father God. I pray that you will use me under the sound and the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Father God, I ask you that you will give me knowledge, wisdom, and understanding during this video, Father God. I pray that all our hearts and our minds are clear before you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Fill us up with your Holy Spirit. Fill us up with your grace and your mercy, Father God. Forgive us for every single sin that we so easily committed before you father god have mercy on us and help us to do better and help us to be better father god in the name of jesus and pray oh god that there will be cleansing through, do, during this word of god and we give you all the glory honor and praise all these many blessings that we ask in jesus name we pray let every chosen one say amen and amen again stay prayed up and out the way we're living in our last and evil days. Spiritual warfare is running rapid. I need everybody to please, please do me a huge favor and share this video because spiritual warfare is really running rapid. So you have to learn how to stay prayed up. You have to learn how to really stay out the way. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I've been living for 31 long years. I've never seen spiritual warfare running rapid like this before. You have to understand the real reason why all these shootings and killings are happening lately. There's been a lot of killings, a lot of shootings happening lately. And not enough praying. Understand where I'm coming from. It's a lot of people fighting. It's a lot of people arguing. It's a lot of people that are just miserable with life itself. Ever since this pandemic, spiritual warfare has really been running rapid. We're really living in our last and evil days, chosen ones. Be ye separate. Come out from amongst them. Understand what I'm saying? God separated you from these Decepticons for a reason. Because of the simple fact, he already knew that this day was going to come. Where it's going to be everybody against everybody. It's going to be people being boastful and prideful and very hideful. It's going to be people that's really out here just going crazy. There's going to be a famine coming out pretty soon, y'all. Y'all got to be very, very prepared. You have to be steadfast. You have to be unmovable, always abiding in the work of God. Because I'm telling you right now, spiritual warfare is really, really running rapid. You coming across people you don't even know and you can feel negative spirits on them. You going on dates and you can feel negative spirits on people. You can go to the grocery store and do some grocery shopping and you can feel people's spirits. Understand what I'm saying? So that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. So you have to be, you have to be uh, humble when you're going around certain people because everybody's not successful like you chosen ones. Everybody don't really worship God and don't really worship him in spirit and in truth. Everybody don't really have a good heart. Everybody don't have a, a, a righteous heart. Understand where I'm coming from. Everybody don't have a pure heart. It says, blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. A lot of people have a, a, a stony heart. A lot of people have stony hearts. You have to ask God to turn that stony heart into flesh because I'm telling you something right now. It's really something going on spiritually right now. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood, chosen ones. We're wrestling against principalities. We're wrestling against spiritual wickedness in super high places. There's some people out here in high positions that are just so evil and wicked. And you think they're going to have your back. You think these spiritual wicked people in high places really is the plug. They're not the plug. God is the plug. It's all kind of demonic things that are happening out here in this world. Human trafficking. 
Understand what I'm saying? Murderers on top of murderers. Understand what I'm saying? Fighting all in the streets. Understand what I'm saying? People just don't really care anymore. Think about what's going on. It's a lot of stuff that's happening, happening spiritually. Understand what I'm saying? Actors getting, getting, and comedians getting slapped on stage. You got to understand, uh, other comedians getting attacked on stage. All this stuff is coming from spiritually. It seems like the higher you become, the more you begin to witness spiritual warfare. It's, it's, it's running rapid right now. The devil is busy. And I think it's because ever since this pandemic, a lot of people have lost hope. But let me tell you something. This pandemic should have pushed you through your problems. This pandemic should have pushed you through your breakthrough. This pandemic should have pushed you to your purpose. I need everybody to put that in the comments below and say, this pandemic is pushing me through my purpose. Don't you let this pandemic take you off of your purpose or don't you let this pandemic take you off of your mission for the Lord. I'm not going to let no disease take me off of my grind for the Lord. I'm not going to let no mask take me off of my grind for the Lord. I'm not going to be living in fear. It says, for God did not give me the spirit of fear, but, the, but of love and of, and of a sound mind. <coughs> Excuse me. You have to know that when you're walking into this world full of darkness, you have to know when you walk into this world full of, of, of corrupt people and, 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 and negative spirits and, and, and evil ways and demonic spirits, you have to know that, you know, it's, going to, it's bound to happen. It's going to come near your way because you are chosen by the most high God. And I'm here to tell you right now, get on your bending knees and stay there. Get in that prayer closet and stay there because I'm telling you right now, spiritual warfare is running rapid. People are going through it spiritually. Everybody not saved like they said that they are saved. Everybody don't really see God on a daily basis, chosen ones. Everybody is really not wrapped up, tangled up all in, in the blood of the lamb, all in the blood of Jesus. Everybody is not, they wasn't born that way. They, they, they didn't have the right parents to raise them in the fear and that mission of the Lord like that. You have to ask these people who raised you. You got to ask these people who sent you. Understand where I'm coming from. Because we're living in our last and evil days. People are really going at it spiritually. And y'all thinking we wrestling against people. Y'all thinking we wrestling against flesh and blood. Y'all thinking we wrestling against, you know, skin and, 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 and physical. It's not physical. This is all spiritual, y'all. And if you ain't prayerful, and if you're not in your prayer closet, if you're not reading your word, you're not going to be ready when that enemy attacks. Because the enemy, he jumps inside of people to use them to go against you. I understand that you are successful, chosen ones. I understand that you are the light of the world, but I'm gonna keep it real with the chosen ones. This world needs the chosen ones. Our energy is so real. Our spirit is so genuine. Understand what I'm saying? Our love is unconditional. We have the anointing that destroys every single yoke. We have the gift of tongues we have the gift of the sermon we have the gift to proclaim the gospel of jesus christ this world really needs chosen ones man that's why it's only 144,000 chosen ones out of millions and millions of people all over the world it's only 144,000 chosen ones i don't even know if it's that now understand what i'm saying everybody that you see on youtube claiming they chosen they're not chosen Understand what I'm saying? Everybody that you see on YouTube saying they're chosen this and they're chosen that, you know who's chosen. You know who is really, really sent by God. You have to have that anointing to be chosen. You got to have that, that, that gift. God gave you a certain gift in order for you to be chosen. Everybody don't have that gift. Anybody can talk. Understand what I'm saying? Anybody can speak, but do people really see that you are chosen? Do people, the people that are watching your videos, do they really feel the anointing over your life? Some people just don't hear talking. You got to have that anointing. You got to have that gift. You got to have that, that spirit. Understand what I'm saying? You got to have that glow. Half of these people here not even glowing on YouTube, but they claim that they are the chosen one. Don't play with being chosen because you got to know that you are really chosen. You can't play with nothing like this because people out here really trying to make it to the next level. People are really out here trying to get to those pearly white gates and spiritual warfare is really running rapid like never before. 
People getting cussed out on every street, every corner. People are fighting on every every party event. People are getting killed at concerts. Y'all gotta pay attention to what's going on around. Divorces are, are, are divorce rates are going higher. This is all coming from just spiritually. If you don't know God, you better get to know him. Because I'm telling you, he is the best thing that ever happened to me. Understand what I'm saying? And I thank him and I love him with the fullness of my heart. But I'm not going to let nobody and nothing take me from my mission. Because of the simple fact, I already know that spiritual warfare has begun. Let me break it down to you. That same old guy that I said in my previous videos, he just keep on fucking with me. For some reason, I don't know what it is, but this fool just keep on fucking with me. Last time I was just standing outside my apartment complex taking pictures. Understand what I'm saying? Taking pictures, getting ready to post for YouTube. This man gonna say, hey, what are you do what are you doing? What are you what are you what are you taking pictures of? I'm like, are you ignorant? I'm taking pictures of myself. Why are you worrying about what I'm doing? Now I'm starting to realize you just picking on me for no reason. No, you're actually picking on me because I am I am the great one. You're picking on me because I am the chosen one. And when people are worshiping the devil and when people have demonic spirits on the side of them, they can really catch on to who's chosen. Don't be stupid. Don't be ignorant concerning Satan and his devices. I'm telling y'all, man, people be having really demonic spirits inside of them. This fool just really just asked me, what are you taking pictures of? Do you see me taking pictures of myself? You just fucking with me. Next time you say something to me, I'm going to say, man, oh my God, I just need to learn how to continue to remain humble because it's, it's certain things I want to say to this man, but I know I just can't say it because of the simple fact I'm on a mission. I got bigger fish to fry. I know what God has put me on this earth to do. I can't go toe to toe with you because I already know you're not on that same path as me. I already know that you don't even love the Lord because if you love the Lord, you will recognize real. If you love the Lord, you will come up to me and say, hey, my brother, I thank you for what you're doing. I see glow all over you. I see greatness all over you. Keep doing what you're doing. Because when people come encounter with the chosen ones, you got to believe that they already know that you are sent by God. Don't be ignorant. People might play that dumb role like they don't know who you are and where you come from. They know who you are. You sent by God. God made you the chosen one ever since you was in your mother's womb. Don't let these people fool you. They see it. They see success. They see that you're about your bag. They see that you're all about Jesus. They see that glow. They see you shining bright like a diamond. Don't let these enemies and these Decepticons fool you. Because we're living in our last and evil days. Why do you think they say our last and evil days? Because it's all kind of evil spirits, evil demonic spirits running rapid all over the place. You got evil spirits at your jobs. Come on, y'all. Y'all working nine to five jobs and there's demonic spirits all up in there. You know how I know? Because I used to work at every freaking fast food restaurant you can you can name. I, I worked there. Every mall you, you can name. I worked there. I've been I was working for 16 years before I came out with my own YouTube channel. Don't get it twisted. I was always in the field getting his bag. God just elevate me. God just promoted me to something greater. And it's funny because I never got a promotion when I was doing these little jobs. Only one job really promoted me. And that's when I was, uh, you know, doing telemarketing for home improvements. That was only one job that really elevated me and promoted me to another, you know, hourly, hourly raise. But all these other jobs, I never really got a raise like that. Because of the simple fact, they already knew that I am the chosen one. They already knew I had greatness written all over me and the boss would never pay you to be his neighbor. Understand what I'm saying? So back to the subject, what I'm trying to say is, this man just keep fucking with me. So I already know what's going on now. This is his third time fucking with me in one year. Your third time fucking with me. But I'm going to remain humble. Now God already told me what, what to do to this man. God told me to remain humble. Resist him. I don't have nothing to say to you. I don't want to speak to you. Don't say anything to me. I don't know you. I don't. I can't sit up here and say I don't like you because I don't really know you like that. But I know that you have a demonic spirit on you. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to ask God to, to turn that stony heart into flesh. I'm going to ask God to move on you. Because you have a demonic spirit inside of you. That's why we can't go to toe with these uh, Decepticons, chosen ones. We can't go to toe to toe with these people. They're not equally yoked. They're not spiritually yoked like you. 
they're not on that same level of success like you. They don't worship God. They don't believe in God. When they wake up in the morning, they're not getting on their bent knees and pray. You know how many years it takes people to finally get up in the morning and get on their knees and pray? You know how many times it takes, how many years it takes people to just to do that? People are very stubborn out here. People really out here worshiping other idols. It said, don't put no other idols before me. God said this, don't worship anything else be, be, before me. Don't put nothing before me. I am the creator of the heavens and the earth. This is what God is saying. You worship me in spirit and in truth. We have to learn how to keep him first. Seek after his righteousness. Everything else is going to be added unto you guys. Understand where I'm coming from. But I have to let you guys know, spiritual warfare is running rapid. And if you ain't prayerful, if you ain't staying out the way, you might get caught in a situation that you know you don't have no business being caught in. I need everybody to put this in the comments below and say, I'm going to resist the devil and he shall flee in Jesus name. Don't be afraid to put that in the comments below because you got to resist the devil. That's the only way we're going to win this battle. Because it's not given to the fast. It's not given to the strong. It's given to the one who endures to the end. Do you got what it takes to endure to the end? Do you have what it takes to endure to the end? Because I'm letting you know right now, I'm not going to let nobody, no negative spirit come in between me and Jesus. Nothing going to come between me and God. So keep doing what you're doing for the Lord. Keep being prayerful. Keep putting out good content. Keep motivating. Keep inspiring. Because somebody out there needs to hear this. I need everybody to share this video because if you're not ready, you don't want to be caught up in this in this uh, in this spiritual uh, warfare. You don't want to be caught up in this rapture. You don't. You think it's trouble now? You ain't seen trouble yet. Get caught up in that rapture. Get left behind, and you gonna see hell. Join my WTC Mention program. I'm gonna get you to the next level. If you guys would love to be a blessing to my YouTube channel, you already know my cash app, dollar sign symbol, God will provide 3-1. PayPal is God will provide 3-0. Whatever God put in your heart to give. Understand what I'm coming from. And don't you ever forget, if you need a friend, you already know you got a friend in me. If you need prayer, you already know you got a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you already know you got the best motivational speaker in the whole wide world. In your boy. We the chosen ones. Go get your blessing. Be blessed.